Good morning, everybody. It's uh, eight, about eight thirty. We are climbing out of the NLC, and it's a long, sustained climb. And oh, here comes the rain. You are witnessing it. Here comes the rain. And uh, we got to go from about seventeen hundred feet to five thousand. We hope. And uh, it's about forty something. Uh, showers on and off and um, we uh, feeling good fed bed warm last night the only thing we messed up on is the uh, setting the clocks back good morning everybody oh setting the clocks ahead right yeah ahead. so uh, it was a little dark for us to start okay here comes the rain falling on my head like a memory um, so, we're off to the races. Okay. There we go. Well, let's see, it's what? Try. 10.30? It's 10.30. 10.30? Yes. And, uh, oh, we've been going up, but... It's, yeah, it's not as bad as we... So far. So, so far. far. Right. But so far, I mean, we still got, uh, um, we can see some steep sections, but it's been really nice. And I'm, we're, we're starting to think that our combined Scottish Irish ancestry yes. is making us feel quite at home out here in this fog. Um, it's peaceful. I mean, we're not getting the views, but it's quiet, it's peaceful. And uh, we're, we're probably, we're just like soggy people. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, with my complexion, I'm probably doing good staying out of the sun. So, that's probably yeah. true. It's not raining nope. so far. And uh, the trail has been fun. Um, so, uh, so far, so good. Onward and upward. upward. You'll notice it looks very, very similar to Georgia. We had no idea. Yep. And that's, we're sort of under a mountain laurel, which I think I was always calling rhododendrons. And maybe they're rhododendrons. <laughs> I don't know. But they're pretty. And it's a, a, like a little card or a little. And then down there, I imagine, would be a valley. And the trail goes down around there and up there along this edge. The trail's been pretty, pretty good. So back into the mist. Pretty sure we don't need to be filtering this, but better filter than be sick in the woods, right? So we're just gonna dilute our drink down. You do. A lot of people use the um, soya squeeze, which we used to use, and we've uh, really liked using the uh, catted and Free. and it's a lot faster. We, I hope you can make out the mountain out there. It's about to come, so you might see the peak. Let's see, so. Snow. Yeah, we're up on the above the clouds. You can down in here and there. There's a patch of trees starting to come too. There it is. 
There it is. Oh, I hope this comes out because that's pretty wild. There it is. I don't know what summit that is. <laughs> probably going over it. We're probably going to go over it. And it's a little clearer up here above the clouds, so. Well, after we came over the summit and started descending, it, uh, we got some views. They're not great because we're looking out through the trees here, but we're seeing something anyway. Um, because on that side, that's pretty much what we we're seeing the whole time. But uh, evidently, it, evidently, if you look over there, that's where all the, the cloud is. But off in that valley, it's cleared up. So maybe, maybe we're heading for clearer weather. But I know I'm heading for the shelter to get something to eat. So we've done about 3,291 foot climb over a period of eight miles. We left the knock um, at 7.30 and we took about 35 minutes for lunch and we're here at two o'clock. just show you something that we've been following along as we've coming down from the ball that if you look out into this side of the ridge I mean that's what you see in fact you don't see anything it's just thick fog and it's really cool clammy damp over here but now watch what happens as we just come over this one ridge completely different day completely different it's it's noticeably warmer noticeably clearer and as we've been coming down these switchbacks, we've been going from this. Then you come over this ridge. And you're back here. I mean, look at the views out there. I mean, you can see this, the, the tree lines. You can see way off in the distance where the sun's break, trying to break through. And then over here, not so much. One of the things we have noticed about hiking is it's more than just putting your feet in front of the other and pushing through the miles. Sometimes it's stopping to take notice of the little things because in the little things you find the most important parts of the trail. Things that you really should be paying attention to. And so as the day continued on we found ourselves coming into Locust Cove Gap and we thought it was a pretty good place to stop, have dinner, and to set up our tent beside the trail. It was a great place to sleep, but there was this one tree. This one tree that was kind of bothering me. 